Okanagan, you have one minute left in your setup period. You may now begin your presentation. The Okanagan Valley is known for its picturesque beauty, home to beautiful mountains, lakes, and communities, home to rich wine culture, farmers, and blooming orchards, home to beautiful sunny beaches filled with tourists and childhood destinations, home to world-class skiing, cycling, and endless outdoor recreation. When you think of the Okanagan, you think of our beautiful landscapes and a tourist destination. But for those of us who call the Hok Okanagan home, we also see the needs and challenges of our community. We see that we are the fourth most expensive place to live in Canada, with the basic income needed to sustain an average family still well above what the minimum wage would provide for. We see that the usage of our food banks has grown by 22% in three years, with children making up one-third of the users. We see that our unemployment rate has risen to 9.5%, the sixth highest in our country, and the cost of feeding the average family increased by 38% in six years. For those of us who call the Okanagan home, we see the full picture. This is our story about how a team spread over 180 kilometers from Penticton to Salmon Arm is addressing these needs by fostering the growth of our region and empowering our communities in need. We are Saifo Okanagan, and we are making a difference. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Caroline Wyatt, and our team is spread across four cities with student vice presidents and faculty advisors on each campus. My name is Jonathan Gardner, and our team of 104 active team members has invested over 6,800 volunteer hours, influencing over 10,000 individuals. My name is Danielle Hofer, and our team works closely with our 84 stakeholders to bring value to our communities. On tech support, we have Bill Wang, Pavan Seacon, and Ryan Lancaster. And my name is Drew Vincent, and together, our team is inspiring positive change through our 10 programs. Today, we will share five with you. In the top left corner will be the highlighted SIFE criteria that we will follow throughout the presentation, showing how our team is inspiring positive economic, environmental, and social change. We will start by sharing how the Young Entrepreneur Program is developing talented youth in our community filling, by filling a void in our school curriculum. In the Okanagan, we face the significant challenge of retaining and developing talented youth. As a result, $96.6 million is lost annually in our region due to young adults leaving for job opportunities in larger centers. Since there is very little emphasis on entrepreneurship in our middle and high school curriculum, Saif Okanagan identified the need to address this lack of business education and created the Young Entrepreneurs Program. This program teaches students the skills and knowledge necessary to develop their own career and remain in the Okanagan Valley. Now, in its seventh year of operation, the Young Entrepreneur Program takes middle and high school students through a five-month Dragon's Den style program. The program consists of three stages. Product development, where we teach the students to take their business ideas and refine them into viable businesses. Marketing, where we teach the students new tools to effectively empower their business. And finance, where we stress the importance of understanding all aspects of their financial position in developing their overall business plan. Throughout the program, the importance of economic, social, and environmental factors are taught and directly incorporated into the judging criteria. 
Through one-on-one -on -one mentorship, we equip these students with the knowledge to succeed as entrepreneurs. And as a result, we have effectively empowered 50% of finalists to start their own viable businesses since the program's inception. The 2011 innovation winner, Triple RG Bikes, had a concept that took recycled BMX bikes for use on trampolines. Because of the skills acquired from the Young Entrepreneur Program, they are currently in negotiations with a potential manufacturer and are traveling to China to attend the 2012 bike trade show in Shanghai. A new team this year, Tempura, is a business that created a knee brace that incorporates ice pack inserts. They are working with their mentors to take their innovative idea and build a prototype using the National BDC Grant. Additionally, they are in the process of patenting their innovation and have already engaged in discussions with NFL agents regarding pro-athlete endorsements. Another new team, Real Retro, creates retro jewelry and accessories using feathers collected from farms and recycled cloth materials to promote environmental sustainability. Our team taught them how to define their target customer, how to develop cost-effective marketing strategies, such as promoting at community events to increase their business exposure. We have used an entrepreneurial approach to continue to grow and expand this program and held our very first regional competition last June. This year, in Kelowna alone, participation increased 50% to a record 76 teams. And across three cities, we have 135 teams, totaling 335 students, and an astounding 1,635 student participants since the program's inception. Now, here are a few words from Zoe about our program. They told us certain things to look into, uh, like licensing fees and stuff that we hadn't thought of. This whole experience has taught us a lot, and um, I've learned so much that I can apply to the rest of my life going into schooling. But we have not stopped there. No, we have taken it one step further by expanding to our fourth and final city, Salmon Arm, creating the Shushwap Entrepreneur Program. We uniquely adapted this program to their specific needs by opening up participation to the entire community. And we just finished our very successful first year where we saw 19 teams participate with the finalists presenting at a final forum with over 145 investors and community members in attendance. The credibility and value of this program is evident in our community support across four regions. With over 26 sponsors providing $54,000. This includes the National BDC grant for prototype and trade show development as well as over $34,000 in prize money given to the winners. Because of the Young Entrepreneur Program, we have exposed youth to options they did not have to the, available to them before by teaching them the basic fundamentals of entrepreneurship, financial management, and their responsibilities as the ethical and environmental leaders of tomorrow. The Young Entrepreneur Program increases the quality of life for our participants by helping them stay and thrive in our region. And for our communities, it increases the standard of living by retaining and stimulating local economic activity. Although the need to work with new and developing members of our youth is paramount to the Okanagan success, we must also support emerging high growth businesses hoping to establish their business in our region. This brings us to our next program, the Venture Okanagan. With the Okanagan economy built on the foundation of small business, financing and growing these companies is a crucial and ongoing challenge. Saif Okanagan recognized that the Angel Investor Program currently operating in the region was struggling to provide a credible investment environment. Our team created Venture Okanagan and used our extensive business network and entrepreneurial skills to revitalize the program and link entrepreneurs with the investment and mentorship they so desperately needed. Using an entrepreneurial approach, participants enter the program and go through four key stages. An online screening process that allows us to reduce our carbon footprint, in-depth feedback sessions from our investor review committee, semi-annual investor forums in front of our accredited investors, and ongoing mentorship between the entrepreneur, SIFE students, and business experts. A powerful example that illustrates the success of this program is Khalil Husseini, who originally participated in our program last year. Khalil is the owner and founder of, of Colorworks Technologies and the creator of the first pump-powered paintbrush. Although Khalil had a viable and innovative idea, he was having difficulties finding investors. He had maxed out all of his credit cards and was on the verge of losing his home. Khalil had exhausted all other financing options 
and was in a seemingly hopeless situation. But through our Venture Okanagan program, we were able to link Khalil with Richard Takai, a local angel investor who has a few words to share about his new business partner and the future of their venture. We are just in the process of commercializing um, the Quick Brush. Uh, we are talking to stores like Canadian Tire, and uh, one of the most exciting pieces of news that we've had is that uh, we've been selected to appear on Dragon's Den. We will be in Toronto on April 23rd pitching in front of the Dragon. This is just one success story from the program since its inception. Two other participants have already secured financing since presenting at our forum, including AllSense Wireless, who was recently named by BC Business Magazine as the fifth most innovative company in BC for their in environmental innovations. This year, we had 60 applicants, 18 of which went through our investment review committee and received valuable feedback. During our recent April Forum, we had eight businesses pitch their ideas, three of which are now entering in negotiations with investors. To sustain our program, we have created strategic alliances with our local partners, and we have developed an online database with 56 accredited investors. To further expand the scope and effectiveness of this program, we are creating an online pitch package and curriculum, allowing us to connect with all the entrepreneurs out there. Because of Venture Okanagan, we have helped these entrepreneurs increase their quality of life and standard of living by realizing their dreams while remaining local in the Okanagan and retaining investment, cash flow, and skilled professionals that may have otherwise left our region. Although the need to work with new and emerging business is paramount to our success, we must also, our SIFE Okanagan recognize that the Okanagan economy was built on the foundation of our agricultural community and in need of our help. We created our brand new program this year farm bag to address this need. In Canada, we have limited regions that are ideal for farming and food production. And these are also some of the most sought after real estate, especially in the Okanagan due to its temperate climate. Over the past 30 years, we have seen a decrease of over 26% in our farmland in the Okanagan due to urban sprawl. With a high cost of land and increased pressure in pricing, our farmers are having greater difficulty sustaining themselves in this competitive international environment. By importing produce, money is leaving our communities and creating unnecessary pollution through increased transportation. Our brand new project this year, Farm Bag, addresses the need to connect farmers with our community and promote local healthy choices and local food security. A group of agricultural members in our community attempted to start a program three years ago to combat this challenge, but were unsuccessful and in dire need of help. So this year, they approached Sife Okanagan to help grow and expand this program by utilizing our vast entrepreneurial skills and network to help raise awareness and exposure of this critical need. We help the farmers market and distribute their produce during their off season by implementing intensive marketing campaigns online resources, and networking to increase the exposure of the program and generate new orders. We have also created a local distribution point at our college where once a month, people come and pick up their 20 pound bag of local produce from a farmer's market style layout. Because of Farm Bag, in just a few short months this year, we have raised more than $6,100 for our local farmers. But this is just a start, as we are developing and refining this business model to expand it throughout our region. By creating an economically sustainable model for distributing local produce, we are increasing the standard of living for our farmers and helping sustain our agricultural community while promoting local healthy choices and food security. We took the, this week, our team won the National Let's Can Hunger Challenge for the third consecutive year for our long-term sustainable hunger relief solutions. We took the opportunity to take these initiatives and take the lessons from Farm Bag of healthy life choices and food security and pair them with financial literacy to create our second brand new program, Dollars and Cents. A BC dietitian's report stated that a low income family of four in Kelowna spends over 100% of their household income on food and shelter alone. The Kelowna Food Bank provides 100 food hampers per day and still one in seven children in our community attend school hungry. This paired with the Okanagan region having the sixth highest unemployment rate in Canada means that for those less fortunate, they are left fighting for financial independence. To address this need, we created the Dollars and Cents program in partnership with the local charity, Metro Up. 
over an eight-week period, members of Sife Okanagan deliver in-depth sessions teaching at-risk members of our community about the core concepts of financial literacy, budgeting, consumerism, banking, assets, and credit management. We began the program by administering introductory questionnaires to assess the needs of our participants. And we found that 100% of our participants had little to no knowledge of money management. And that 60% felt no empowerment with their bank because of fees being automatically withdrawn from their account without warning. We paired this financial literacy training with basic nutrition knowledge and began each of these sessions by showing the participants how to budget and prepare healthy meals together, promoting healthy, cost-effective choices. After finishing the program, we conducted questionnaires and interviews with the participants to find out how dollars and cents has helped them. All of the participants expressed to us that they have received valuable financial education as a result of participating. One of our participants, Marina, expressed to us very emotionally that for the first time in a long time she had completed something and that she felt an overwhelming sense of pride and empowerment to take control of her finances. To Marina, Dollars and Cents was more than just a program. It was the first major step in turning her life around. She's already been successful in meeting some of her financial goals by opening a new savings account, by applying for an advanced match savings program, and by using her new skills to actively monitor her financial position. Because of the rapid growth of this program, we have partnered with two pregnancy centers in the Okanagan to deliver this curriculum to a broader audience and reach young mothers and families in need. We teach them these skills to not only change their lives, but to change the lives of a generation to come. Both centers were so thrilled with the success of this program that they have committed to offering these lessons on an ongoing basis. Because of our active follow-up, by teaching these skills to our participants, we are empowering them to take charge of their finances and breaking free from the cycle of poverty and adopting healthy lifestyle choices. Through active follow-up and strong community partnerships, we are ensuring that we deliver these skills to the at-risk members of our community and promote long-term success. When thinking dollars and cents, think better decisions leading to better lives. We have told you about how our programs are creating a more prosperous future for our entrepreneurs, supporting our environment, and empowering people in need. Now let us tell you about how we take all three of these crucial elements of the triple bottom line and combine them into one program, InstaLife. This program impacts our youngest and most impressionable audience, young elementary school students, changing their lives and changing our future. The current elementary school curriculum teaches conventional skills such as math, English, and geography, and it has been identified that these students have difficulty connecting these skills to their everyday lives. We created InstaLife with our partner, Nico Theodosakis, to answer the question we have all asked at one point in our lives. What does school have to do with anything? Now, here is a word from Nico, a local social entrepreneur and visionary of the InstaLife program. investigation that we call Instill Life, that we're working with Sife on, is really this questioning of how can we make learning matter to students, how can we make learning matter to the teachers, and how can we make learning matter to the community. According to a recent study, 72% of graduated students found their education meaningless, and that it did not apply to their everyday lives. Instill Life teaches students how one individual can make a difference both locally and globally by connecting individuals here in the Okanagan with the rest of the world. Instill Life is a five-month interactive program which works with elementary school students to teach them the basic concepts of the triple bottom line, the economy, the environment, and social responsibility. Students create artwork of fruits and vegetables and write biographies about how they hope to impact the world by participating in the program. We then combine the bios with artwork to create personalized greeting cards. We teach the students the entrepreneurial and financial skills of budgeting, financing, and selling. Students make this connection by using their math skills to build a budget of how much the cards cost, how much they will sell them for, and how much profit they will have to microlend. Through this process, students understand the value of money and make a meaningful connection from their classes to real life. Throughout this program, we teach students about food, where it comes from, and the importance of protecting our environment. 
We do this through engaging them in in-class discussions and activities on global environmental issues. During one of these sessions, we taught the students how to plant and grow a vegetable and provided them with the tools and supplies to do so. In doing this, we show them the importance of local food security and their part in promoting environmental sustainability in our communities. To prepare the mar students to market and sell their cards, we get them to create and practice elevator pitches in front of their class, building their self-confidence and presentation skills. They then take these newfound skills and apply them by selling the cards to local businesses and at various events, spreading what they have learned through our InstaLife program to the rest of our community. Once the students have sold their cards, they then take the revenue and microlend it to entrepreneurs using Kiva.org, an international reputable organization. Kiva facilitates the microlending process and allows us to work with the students to research different agricultural entrepreneurs. The students learn things such as where they are from, why they need the loan, and how the loan will change their life. Through their research, they then choose an entrepreneur they have a connection with and start the microlending process. Here's what Jacob had to say about our program. When we came here and we had to help them, it felt really, I felt really happy to be actually helping someone other than where we live, then we just sit around and just play all the time, not help. So I'm just happy that we actually got help. In just two years, we have taken this program from its original two classrooms and expanded it to an additional 15 classrooms in eight schools in Penticton, Kelowna, and Vernon. This year alone, we have empowered over 240 students to change a life through the power of $25. Students have lent over $10,000 to 294 entrepreneurs in over 32 different developing countries. To increase the impact and long-term sustainability of this program, we are working with our partner Nico to develop a structured course guide and online interface. This allows teachers and educators from around the globe to offer this amazing program regardless of their geographic location. We have already had international attention from schools as far as California and Belgium to offer them the tools to implement this program worldwide. InstaLife increases the quality of life and standard of living for two key audiences entrepreneurs in developing countries hoping to establish a business and sustain their families and economies, and our young elementary school students who are in dire need of a program that relates school to real life. InstaLife gives rise to stories from around the globe, bringing the world to life as students bring life to the world, one loan and one person at a time. What does school have to do with anything? Because of InstaLife, these students now know how to budget, earn money, and change a life with just $25. Because of InstaLife, they now know how to grow a garden, where food comes from, and the importance of local food security. Because of InstaLife, students now know a farmer in Kenya and a cattle rancher in Sudan. And most importantly, because of InstaLife, students now know their crucial role in the world and are empowered to make a positive difference, both locally and globally. We are Sife Okanagan, and through our high-impact programs built on economic, environmental, and social foundations, we are inspiring positive change for a more prosperous future. Our Young Entrepreneur Program stimulates and innovates creativity among middle and high school students across the Okanagan, giving them the skills and knowledge necessary to stay and thrive in the Okanagan small business region. Through Venture Okanagan, we have mentored startup entrepreneurs in dire need of business skills and access to capital, giving them a chance to turn their dreams into a reality and in some cases provide a lifeline to their business. Through FarmBag, we have created a sustainable and profitable revenue source for our local farmers, keeping our distribution local and remaining in the Okanagan. Our Dollars and Cents program creates change for at-risk members of our community and struggling mothers, empowering them to break free from the cycle of poverty and gain financial independence. And our InstaLife program is nurturing long-term change in the leaders of tomorrow by instilling the values, key values of the triple bottom line. We are Sife Okanagan, and we are committed to empowering our communities in need. We will now begin the question and answer period. Uh, 
Uh, great job, guys. Uh, that was very inspiring. Uh, in terms of the, uh, the Young Entrepreneurs Program, you said you had 50% uh, that actually start up, uh, started businesses. Out of that 50%, I'm just curious, how many are still have ongoing businesses? And can you talk to some of their success? Uh, yeah, 50% do start up their do start up their final businesses, and some of them with that 50%. Actually, the process that we like is that they get to go through the entire process, and some of them don't end up starting their businesses or those 50% started up. But then through the skills they've learned, realize this isn't a viable business. So then they get to have the skills and go back and refine their business. And one example is Larissa Russell. She was a winner three years ago, and she has continued to operate her business Hannah Hut and has increased her revenue to $45,000 annually. Is In Still Life uh, geared to a certain age group or to a grade, and did you do, how did you come up with the needs assessment to decide where to run that program? We decided to work with elementary school students because we feel they are the leaders of tomorrow, and also they share what they learn with their families and the community at, at dinner tables and, and with their friends. So we really feel by impacting and giving them the skills at a young age, they're able to impact the rest of the community even more. And the needs assessment was drawn from a question that we've all asked ourselves. Why did we go to school? What are we learning? What does it have to relate to anything? So that's where we came up with that. Great job. Um, I'm wondering if you could talk about FarmBag and uh, how you're going to expand it for next year. As this is a brand new program for us, this year was a great start for us to see just how far we could take it. Every single month that we placed these orders, we grew our, our sales by at least 50, 100, and sometimes even 200%. So we got a great understanding of how to operate this program and how to really define this business model. Our plan is to continue to expand it within Scythe and perfect every bit of it, and hopefully we can expand this throughout Canada and throughout the world as a business model that works for supporting local agriculture and reducing the pollution that goes with the rest of importation. Thanks. I just wasn't clear on how FarmBag works. Is, it, is the idea that you are taking what would otherwise be roadside stands and putting them together, cutting out the middleman of the local grocery store or chain and going direct to the community, is, is that the, 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 the point? The model with FarmBag is to really increase the return to the farmers. Uh, as there are no middlemen, we go directly from the farm to our bags. Uh, a lot of people don't understand that farms still have produce available during the winter months. So by creating this program, while we only had $6,100 of revenue in our first year, we've increased awareness and exposure to the fact that people can continue to get this. So we just try and raise more awareness for them. And how is the food collected? Do the farmers all drop it off at one select location, or does someone go around and pick it up? Uh, the company that we're working with, the Little Green Book, they bring in the farm from all the different farmers. So we use one truck that brings everything to one place, and then we lay it all out, and people know, and people get to go along and, and grab their produce out of the different boxes that they go through. Great job. Um, if you look back on um, everything that you've achieved in this last year, uh, what would you do differently? I think when we gone through, we, we did get great learning experiences and having challenges when we first launched FarmBag, but I think the biggest thing was our experience with our venture Okanagan. We really launched this program and expanded upon it throughout the year, but we waited, we had it happen more in our last half. Uh, in our last forum, we had a really good showing, but continuing to expand and develop this program as it has amazing potential to expand beyond what it is operating at, we really took that on later on in the year.
Your team time is up, team. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in thanking the team from Okanagan College. <laughs>